Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. starts at 7 so I'm gonna get going. Some of you asked what the window looked like in the dark. Here you go. All right so I am going to go ahead and head off to the gym and I will catch up with you guys when I get back. All right friends I just got back from the gym and it is probably 8 a.m. Um, so yeah, it was a really great workout. I burned like a thousand calories. For those who've been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm a huge Orange Theory Fitness person. I love it there. It is the best gym I've ever found. I've been there going there a year and I just love it. I love it so much. Um, so today we're gonna start planning out Christmas cookies, and these are three of my favorite books. Um, I just thought I'd share because I know that you guys would totally be into them. This Gooseberry Patch Christmas book my mom actually gave me, and it is so great, full of gifts, full of recipes, full of decorating ideas. It's just a really, it's just an awesome book. It has been flipped through so many times. Then, uh, of course, the Martha Stewart Cookies book. I highly recommend this, um, and I was very nervous about buying, you can see how much I've used it, like the cover is coming off. Um, I was very nervous about getting it at first because I thought all the cookies were going to be like uberly complicated where I would have to like travel to Scandinavia for a rare type of almond just to bake the cookie that she's making. But actually there are quite a few easy recipes. And then this simple recipe, um, they're either three ingredients, four ingredients, or five ingredients. Um, and there are lots of awesome choices in this book as well. And I've had this for a really long time. I'm going to go through and sketch out my Christmas cookies and then I'll make the usuals as well, um, but uh, yeah. And on Tuesday, my best friend, who I've talked about in um, previous vlogs, hopefully she'll let me record her, but um, we're having a whole friend day on Tuesday. So her um, baby is going to be with the sitter, and her and I are going to wear our onesies, bake cookies, watch Christmas movies, drink mulled wine, and just have like a whole Tuesday to ourselves, um, which we haven't had in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna head out and do some shopping and pick up a few things for Steven, and then just wrap up some things for my best friend and I's day on Tuesday. I'm just rocking an Old Navy Thermal. I am hooked on these things. They wash really nice and they're super reasonable. Then I'm just wearing a pair of skinny jeans um, and those John Varvatos boots that I'm completely, completely obsessed with. All ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come Hey babe. Those all, these boxes here came from the P.O. box? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. And the cards too. This is crazy. Oh, my hair is a mess. I'm gonna throw in my pajamas again and then we're gonna hang out on box and open advent calendars and have a peaceful rest of the day. I am back in my robe and my pajamas and that is what I intend to stay in the rest of the day. So I picked up that wreath at West Elm, that boxwood wreath for $20, normally like 70. And I put it on this side of the door and it just looks so, cute and then it just has like a little switch right here 
for the lights. So I can turn them off, I can turn them on. All right, I am going to go ahead and get some lunch in me and then we will start our card display DIY and I can't wait to share it with you. Dear Christopher, you are such an inspiration in all walks of life. Your dedication to vlogging while ill was remarkable. Your dedication to working out got me back to the gym after almost a year. Now it is four days workout, four days yoga. Every time I went to slack off, I think Christopher wouldn't. Your decorating skills are better than most interior decorators. One of you asked me if I was an interior designer, the answer is no. Um, thank you for all the inspiration. Missing your planning videos though. A Dorothy, don't you worry because I have a whole bunch planned. So they are coming back and they'll be a weekly occurrence. Dorothy, this is exactly why I do it. Um, I want to encourage and inspire and just be anything I can for people. This is such an emotional process. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. Between all the comments that have been on Vlogmas and then this, it's just, oh, look at this card. These are just stunning. I hope you, Stephen and Bubba's, have a wonderful Christmas and a safe and happy new year. Your friend, Aaron. Aaron, this card is amazing. I have three new cards to add to my door. I cannot wait. All right, I have to replace the battery in my camera and then we'll unbox these boxes. So I just put a new battery in, so we are good to go. All of you comment about how nervous I make you when I'm unboxing something. I make myself nervous. I'm just waiting for the day that I lose a finger. So just know that I'm scared too. This is overwhelming. I'm <laughs> just... I haven't opened anything yet and I'm gonna cry. Just the fact that anyone would do this is just overwhelming to me. I can't, I'm gonna have to figure out a craft or something to do with all these cards because they're so beautiful. Amanda, I'm obsessed with your handwriting. Christopher, thank you so much for all you do. I know it is a ton of work to do your Vlogmas videos. The positivity you give has really helped me get through the start of a really rough holiday season. Over the last few years, I've lost the majority of my family, and this Christmas, I will not be able to see my grandparents. Oh. I will not be able to see my grandparents, who are who I have left. As my grandmother's immune system is too weak to be around anyone with small children. I have two very germy toddlers. Your videos have given me a little something to look forward to, especially Bubba's. Thank you again for all you do for the the community. I hope you have happy holidays and a wonderful new year. I can't handle this. <laughs> Everyone that knows me knows that I'm already a crier, but like I can't handle so many of you have talked to me about like this is a comfort to all of you. And I can't handle it. I mean I can handle it. I love being that for others, but who oh, when you guys tell me I Okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh, Amanda, just know that I'm sending you all my love. <laughs> Amanda, this is also ludicrous. What did you do? Oh my babe, come here. This is from Amanda. It's a hedgehog and it's squeaky and it's squeaky. Just what you needed, a new toy. Go take it, take it. Go play with it. Say thank you, Amanda. Oh, my, another coffee mug. This one says, baby, it's cold outside in a pinky. This is one of my favorite tea brands. It's Pinkies Up Cinnamon Bun. So some tea and this amazing Falls Craft Baby, it's cold outside mug. I was just looking at these. The Karuna Hydrating Face Mask for dry skin. Oh my God, I need this desperately. I'm going to do this mask today. It's a one line a day journal and it starts in January. Amanda, I'm gonna use this every day. All right, this is from Marina. Marina, I hope I'm saying that right. You are such a light and joy in this world. Thank you for sharing your heart, openness, and kindness with us on your channel and with everyone on a daily basis. I admire your perspective and commitment to the people and causes that matter most to you. 
on a personal note, hearing you talk so beautifully about your grandmother warms my heart. I lost my grandma two years ago and I miss and think of her with love every day, just like you do in the real world. I think we'd get along. I agree. I think I'd get along with all of you. I know that we are all here to explore, to share, and to receive an equal measure. I'm gonna read that line again. I know that we are all here to explore, to share, and receive an equal measure for the benefit and evolution of humankind. Or you might say, human kindness. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share a few of my favorite things with you. That is one of the most beautifully written notes I've ever received. Look at this box she sent this in. <gasps> oh, I'm doing something cool with this. I don't know what yet, but I'm doing something cool with this. So, Peach, these are her two all-time favorite teas from Tivana. We are going to be stocked up in tea. And here is Baghdad coffee that she got in Israel. And I cannot wait to try it. We'll have it tomorrow morning. I'm going to use this for something really cool. I'm, where is this from? I love it. And then... Threw in this last minute. I know you in graphic image notebooks, but I live for these, for work and personal life. A notebook from Inkwell Press. This is an awesome notebook. I love that it has a place for a date and the purpose where you check, let me show you guys that. You also get to check off the purpose of this page. So like, am I taking notes? Am I setting an agenda? Am I making plans or other? I'm so excited to give this a try. And this does look like it'll fit my desk agenda. Marina, thank you so much. Once again, I can't with you guys. You guys have the best taste in cards. You can tell that we are all stationary nerds because our cards are beautiful. Dearest Christopher, I saw this and immediately knew that you could not be without it. Wishing you, Stephen, and Bubba's the most joyous of seasons, Maddie and Florida. How have I not seen this? It's from Starbucks, and it is a mug with a hummingbird on it. I don't know what to say. I feel like I've cried through this whole thing. Um, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Just thank you. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a minute, pull myself together, and then um, we will definitely catch up in a little bit, but thank you. Amanda, in case you were wondering how Bubba's feels about his new hedgehog, it's been quite a few minutes and he will not let any of us near it. So just listen. <laughs> so Amanda, it is clear that he is in love with the hedgehog and he will not let any of us get near it. I wanted to share with you my card DIY display. And this is what my cards look like. And these are all the cards from all of you. So if you think they don't mean much or that I just put them away, you couldn't be further from the truth. These are all from you. And the way you want to do this is you want to buy three inch wide satin ribbon. I guess you could do any ribbon, but it cannot be wired. So you can't buy a, rib a ribbon with wire in it. And then this is the really unattractive side. I plan on getting Velcro so that these can just be Velcro down. I'm just using painter's tape for the sake of right now, but I'm gonna Velcro them so I can roll them up and save them each year. And you just measure at your door and you center it. And then I bought little gray and white clothespins and clipped all the cards to the ribbon. And then what I really like to start doing once you get enough is like layering them on top of each other. You guys all know that I love layering. 
But those are where I keep all my cards. So the first thing when I walk down in the morning, I see all the cards from you. Ugh, it makes me so happy. So that is how you can display your cards in a really, really easy way. I am feeling like I want to do our puzzle. And this is my puzzle roll. So let me see. I've only rolled up my puzzle once. Let's see how it works. So in a perfect world, I'm supposed to be able to unfasten these and unroll this and our puzzle should still all be together. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out. And by George, look, all my puzzle pieces are still together. So I'm just going to spend some time working on my puzzle because I am a 90 year old woman. advent calendars for day 16. I cannot believe it is the 16th already. So let's start with rituals like usual. It says, twice as nice, prepare to battle the day with two-in-one shampoo and shower gel from our Samurai collection. So this is a shampoo and shower gel, and it is organic bamboo and deep sea minerals. All right, day 16 of David's teas. Get our box back in there and see what we got today. And today is Sleigh Ride. Day 16 of Artillier. And today is Sud Magnolia. Once again, it has like a citrus note. Really sweet. I just spilt it on my hands. Day 16 of Diptyque. It's a candle day. What candle do we get? Benjoin. Every time I smell Benjoy, it reminds me of baby powder. Let's go ahead and open up our Lush for today. And let's go ahead and pull out one thing. And I have already talked about this bath bomb so much. It is called Christmas Sweater. And it is spicy clove and ginger and it just smells like the holidays. So those are our five advent calendar treats today. Um, I'm just continuing to work on my puzzle. Uh, I got basically the whole bottom border. I just have to go back through and find the pieces for this bit and this bit. Alrighty. I think I am just going to edit this and get it uploaded because I'm just gonna hang out tonight and I will capture some more footage of the kitchen window at night, especially looking in from the house so you guys can see what that's like. But I just wanna relax and that's what I intend on doing. I am going to go ahead and end this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye bye No, I can't wait for the weekend up next to you we'll be sharing our secrets making dreams come true let's have a toast for the lovers